Hey, what's up you guys? John here. Hope you're having a great day. And in today's video, I want to show you a secret that can immediately double your playing speed. I'm going to show you some parts of this really famous solo and I'm going to reveal what the solo is at the end. So see if you can guess it in the comments below and then I'll tell you what it's from at the end of this video. It took me a while to figure out how this sound was being made. And when I first started in cover bands and playing bar gigs, this song would come up and I was always scared to play the ending part of this solo. You know, they'd come to the end of the song and everyone would look at me to play this famous riff. And I originally learned it from a tab because I didn't know how to transcribe and I didn't have a teacher that was telling me you need to transcribe and figure this out on your own versus just looking at a tab. And so I learned it from a tab and I actually played it all just alternate picking. But the technique I'm going to show you today is going to really break it down and fast track you so it can save you what I didn't have to go through of trying to play it with a flat pick and not being able to play it fast enough and then figuring this out later. So that's the point of today's video. Before we get into it, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and make sure you're subscribed. We've got new guitar lessons dropping every single day on the channel. You don't wanna miss one. Hit the bell notification. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so that's the line, all right? Now, what's happening is we've got a doubled guitar part. So it's a lick, it's this repetitive figure, and then it's played, you know, two different performances, and they're panned in either speaker, left and right. So if I just isolate one, I'm gonna isolate the left. So you can hear this one lick. Now, let me break it down for you. Um, here it is, we're gonna start off on the 10th fret of the B string. And I'll just play the lick for you first. We're gonna play the 10th fret on the B string, and we're gonna pull off to the 7th fret of the B string. And I'm keeping my first finger here covering two strings, covering the B and the G strings on the 7th fret. So we're pulling off, and then we play the seventh fret on the G string. And then we're gonna do another pull off, this time from eight to seven. So instead of using my pinky like I did on 10, I'm gonna use my second finger. And then I'm gonna play the seventh fret again on the G string. So it's. Now when I first started playing this lick, I actually learned it from a tab. I wasn't transcribing a lot when I first started because I didn't know how, and I was using tabs. And I remember seeing the tab, and I remember trying to play. And just trying to play it as fast as I heard it, and it was. It was so hard to get up to speed because it's really a pretty burning lick. And what I ended up finding out later, and this is the technique that you can use, is you can bring in your middle finger. So if you're holding your pick between your thumb and your index, bring in your middle finger, and what we're gonna do is assign the B string to the middle finger. So all the notes that we play on the B string from that lick are going to be played with the middle finger of the, of the strumming hand. So. I'm gonna pluck that with the middle finger, and then I'm gonna play the pick on the G string. And that's what you actually do to be able to play it at that speed, at least for me, to, to get it at tempo and also not just be like totally overwhelmed with the picking hand. So you've got this. It's really pretty fast. Uh, it's burning. So that's the lick. The chord progression that this lick is going over is D to E, G, and then A for the ending. 
And so this first part is over the D. And then what you do is take this lick up two frets for the E chord. Same lick. Then when you go to G, the lick changes just slightly. It goes. And that's going to be, instead of pulling off with the second finger here, you're going to go to the third finger, and that'll be the 15th fret pulling off to 12, then the 14th fret. And then for the A, you're back to that first figure again. So all together, you got D. So this is a hybrid picking style. See if you can incorporate that into your licks and you can immediately play lines like this a lot faster. It works great on repetitive figure licks where you're just, you have a figure and you're just repeating it over and over. Another great example of this technique that you can hear is the end of Stairway to Heaven, the very last lick in Jimmy Page's guitar solo. He's way up here in an A minor pentatonic and he goes, So that lick is same thing, bringing in that middle finger. It's just on different strings now. There you go, you guys. That's your tip for today, how to instantly double your speed with hybrid picking. Try it out on some of your lines. Check this recording out. The song this first lick is from is Tom Petty's American Girl solo played by Mike Campbell. If you're interested in learning more about soloing, click the link in the description. I've got a free PDF that's over 100 pages long. It's all about soloing. It's gonna take you through licks over major, minor, and dominant chords. There's a lot in there that's really gonna help you out. Make sure you subscribe, you hit the bell notification. We'll see you guys in another video real soon.